I'm a black feminist post-structuralist art historian, and my work is always trying to forge productive conversations between art history and black studies. And one of the important aspects of that is the emphasis that I have on thinking critically and carefully about the intersections of race, class, gender, and sexuality, not only in visual representation, but also serve to reshape what we think the aesthetic in fact is. I've known about the Driscoll as long as it's been in existence, so to be honored by my peers, particularly the members of this year's jury, is a tremendous honor because it really speaks to an appreciation of and recognition of my work in the field. One of the main contributions that my work aims to make is to underline how central the work of African American artists is to the broader history of modern and contemporary art in the global frame. And in many ways, my work aims to centralize the work of black artists like Ramir Beard and like Kara Walker, who are very much engaging with questions of race and gender and pushing back against that racialized gendered positionality. We're in an incredible moment now where there's a real uptake of black feminist scholarship across the humanities that is also being reflected by the rise of incredible black women leaders and thinkers. And I'm often reminded of a wonderful line from the 1977 Kambahi River Collective Black Feminist Statement. If black women get free, then we all get free.